Welcome everybody into this new tutorial for MetaMask. I'm going to show you how you can add some Bitcoin into MetaMask. So the first thing you want to do is to have your MetaMask already opened. Whether that will be is in your desktop or in your phone. Uh, in my case, I have this already installed as an extension. So as you can see, here is my MetaMask. So what I want to do is to look for the Bitcoin token here into MetaMask. So if you want to look for in a specific token you want to scroll down and, and go into import tokens now in here you want to select the option that says btc which is bitcoin now as you can see there are a bunch of results in here we can select the graph bitcoin we can select av bitcoin but the main network of bitcoin it's not available into metamask so what we can do so since we can't buy or receive directly the bitcoin from from the main network of bitcoin into our MetaMask, what we can do is to receive, for example, the grabbed Bitcoin, which is actually almost like the same, but it's just like a grabbed token that can be useful for us. So you can select the import token and from one exchange, receive that into our MetaMask wallet. Now, the other thing that you can do if you want to have your balances inside your MetaMask is to change, is to convert your tokens into other assets and now receive that into metamask this is going to be helping us of two things number one you're going to be receiving our assets into metamask number two you might be saving a lot of money when you want to send a token into another wallet for example if i want to send my bitcoin using my binance account this is one exchange that i use a lot but you can use coinbase or kucoin or whatever the process is exactly the same so after you have your exchange already opened you want to go into your fiat and spot section and all the exchange is going to be available into the wallet section and you can see the fiat and spot now into your fiat and spot what you guys want to do is to look for the token that you want to buy in our case you want to look for bitcoin but since bitcoin is not available for receiving that into metamask you're going to be using another token but just for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to show you how much it's going to be costing us if you're willing to send your bitcoin away to another wallet so just go into bitcoin go into withdraw and now the network should be bitcoin now as you can see the fee of receiving the bitcoin token with the bitcoin network is almost or maybe is four dollars which is actually a lot you can't just use another network like the smart chain because the smart chain is not going to cost us almost anything or the other option is to convert your bitcoins into other assets and then you can send that into your metamask i strongly recommend you guys if you want to convert one token into another one convert one token that can be available for sending into the smart chain because the smart chain is too too cheap it's really really simple to use you can go into the chainlist.org website where you can import almost every network into your metamask so what i want to do now that i'm in here i want to connect my wallet i want to select binance smart chain add to metamask because you can see the network is now binance smart chain mainnet so now that we are in here you want to select your token your bitcoin you enter the amount that you want to convert let's say dot dot two and in here, you want to select a token that can be available for the smart chain. For example, I'm going to be using VMV. So here into our fiat spot section, you want to locate our VMV. Go into withdraw once again. And in here is going to be asking us for an address and a network. I have to make sure I'm using the right network. In my case, it's Binance Smart Chain. You remember to use exactly the same network. You're going to copy this into our clipboard. You're going to paste the address. This automatically is going to be appearing B. Uh, SC and your assets is going to be showing you here if you select your assets it's going to be showing you the latest transaction that you just made so far so hopefully this was a very useful video for you this is just like a few tricks that i can show you so you can receive your money um, directly from metamask or another token that's not bitcoin just in case that you cannot receive the token from one place into another one thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys if you want to see more about this metamask application and hopefully i can see you on the next time